All right, guys, another double unboxing, this time from Exquisite Timepieces in Naples, Florida. I'll put a link down below in the description. Today we have a Grand Seiko and a Seiko. Let's start with the Grand Seiko. Since it's a larger box, it might take a little bit longer to unravel here. This is the SBGM 247. So, these are all going to be like brand new watches, so try to be careful with them. Rice paper elevator, there we go. Move this out of the way, that's nice and heavy. Let's open this guy up, take a look at what we have. All right, so this is wrapped up pretty heavily. So I'll have to unwrap it another time because I'm not gonna get into it here, but very similar to one I just unwrapped recently, but with a three o'clock position. Now this one has a four o'clock. Think I might actually like this one even more. Um, also, this is an automatic, not a quartz. So maybe I like an automatic Grand Seiko more than the quartz, guys. I love this case. It's very much uh, reminds me of like the MM200 Reduced with the offset crown. I'm a big fan of that on Seiko and apparently on Grand Seiko. This definitely just speaks to me a little bit more. So we'll do a full video on this as soon as I can. I have to get it slightly unwrapped. I'm not going to do a full unwrap, but choosing the caliber 9S66. And retail price of $5,700. So it is definitely up there, but we're looking at a luxury watch here, guys. So we'll get this unwrapped. I believe that's like a green colored dial on that. So I'll get it unwrapped for the full video. Just bear with me. Let's get into the Seiko. This is a SPB 265 Pro Specs Special Edition. Let's get into this thing. And this one's also very much wrapped up. A little less than the Grand Seiko, but that is a beautiful Willard, guys. Love the dial on this thing. Let's get this around. 125 bezel. That is a beautiful dial. Kind of has like a, not quite a wave pattern, but definitely a textured wave-ish pattern. The Willards, I'm surprised I don't own one yet. Maybe I will soon. Um, they're relatively affordable. I mean, it's still $1,400. It's not like it's cheap by any means. It's definitely, um, you know, a little bit more expensive watch in the entry-level position here. But the Willard's just so iconic and very comfortable on wrist, and it offers a lot of value here, I think, with the Sapphire Crystal and the 6R Movement and just an overall well-fitting, well-designed watch. So full video on both these as soon as I can. You have a little bit of luxury and a little bit of... Uh, I don't know what we call it, like a good example of a Seiko diver in the Willard. So both great watches. Full video soon. Thanks for watching.